Hello everyone, Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com coming to you speaking on the terpenes. If you want inf more information, obviously you can go to the Cannabis Holistic Institute, join the Cannabis Holistic Therapy Program and become like super saturated and geek out like I am. So today we're going to be talking about terpenes. We're finishing this little series here and our Terpene today is eucalyptol. <laughs> eucalyptol. Um, that was the, some of these terpenes are interesting to say, but eucalyptol is most widely known for its fragrance or smell from the eucalyptus tree, right? Thus it gets its name. Zero or 0 0.06 percent of strains actually have this complete terpene and the interesting part as we discuss more about cannabinoids terpenes and getting the right cannabis fingerprint for your particular body and doing this in um, a non-synthetic way with organic um, cannabis and finding the right medicine for you on your own, working with really healthy, good farmers, is because it can just link right in. And when you're growing and you're consuming and you have the right cannabis strain for you, healing occurs. And so this is great information. So this particular terpene obviously relieves pain. So think if you were to make a topical salve and you placed this particular terpene in it from a cannabis strain. Now you can just put eucalyptus um, aromatherapy in that and that's wonderful. And actually I've, I've spoke to a lot of clients about rubbing eucalyptus on their hands, not getting it close to their eyes because we have very, very um, soft tissues. But getting it about here, Breathing it in, exhaling, breathing in, exhaling, it's really good for the lungs. Now, as you can probably remember, or maybe some of you could remember, there is the synthetic form of eucalyptus that were in some types of medications that we actually smelled as children, super synthetic, we're not wanting to do that. This is a natural form. So pain relief, think about how that would work on a topical salve in your body. Ooh, that sounds so good to me. Um, it also slows bacteria growth as well as fungus growth. So this particular terpene is found in a couple different strains and some that are well known. I mean, it's, it's found in a lot of them, obviously, uh, because once we start to boutique down and hybrid out, we're going to find this strain all over the place. Um, even though it's only in a very small amount, you're going to find it specifically in Super Silver Haze. And I really, really like that strain a lot. Headband, also a great strain. Headband tends to be really on the THC side. And the last time I checked, there uh, was a pretty, uh, the terpene fingerprint there was a pretty much um, in that direction of the high sativa, like the upper kind of feeling, and like really, really heady. Uh, that's not going to be a strain for me, but it could be a strain for you. S super silver haze. I like, the, I like the silvers. Those are great. I like the purple. Like There's certain strains that I really like for my nervous system and just to relax and calm down. So again... This is a wonderful um, terpene if you're wanting to go in this particular direction. Stay tuned, we're gonna go over a few more terpenes before we end the series. Again, Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com. We'll see you in just a moment and I hope this has helped enlighten you just a tad.